What's going on ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be bringing you another episode of how to make a Pokemon game, I believe this is episode 10, and episode 9 I think was in 2015, which is crazy, but I've recently just jumped back in because I've getting a lot of questions about Pokemon games and RPG Maker, and I figured why not share the knowledge. Uh, I'm going to shout out to Darth Vader for giving me this question, as uh, it was sort of the inspiration behind this tutorial. The dude wants to know how you would set up an event where people are talking about you and then they would notice that you're like listening and then they would run off. Um, but not in like a single square kind of scenario, as in if you just stepped in an area. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use switches, which actually does that very such thing. So as you can see we've got a basic little map that I've made here just for testing essentially. Um, and I've put two little walls here, nothing special, nothing awesome. Uh, and we're going to make it so that we, if we walk anywhere in this area right here, I mean it doesn't have to be a line, it can be a square anywhere, it can be literally anywhere, but we're just going to use this as an example. We don't want to like make ourselves a wall like there and make ourselves have to walk through one square to activate this because that that is a possibility but we don't want that to be the case here we want it to we want to walk on anywhere here be able to trigger the event of someone you know talking about you and then they notice that you're listening and they run away um and then that event will then shut off and you won't have to worry about it interacting with you again so the first one we're going to do, obviously we, I've put the spawn, so I spawn up here in the top left. We want some random person who's going to be talking about you. So we're going to call this uh, person1. And we're just going to have this person just standing somewhere. So we're going to grab an NPC, we're going to grab, that one's very small. Let's grab you. This We're going to grab this green guy right here, as he's got walking animations and etc. Um, and we're just going to make him just stand there. We're going to click OK. Uh, so that we know where he is. So he's just standing there, nothing special going on with him right now. So we're just going to leave him there, we just called him person 1. That is not important for you to have him called person 1. You can call him whatever you want to remember. Now we're going to set up an event, so if we don't worry about copy and pasting different things at once, you can just make a quick new event here. So we're going to, just to be more informative, sorry, uh, right click when you're in the event thing up here. So you want to right click, new event, and we're going to call this one random trigger event. Again, none of this name counts. You don't have to worry about your name interacting or like you've typed in trigger so it will automatically trigger because that is not the case. So now that this activates talking trigger on, we want this to go to a uh, new event page. So when you're on this new event page of this trigger right here, you want to go to conditions and you need the condition to be is talking trigger on and you go yes so when this is ticked the switch so talking trigger is on is on um, this will happen so we're going to click auto run and what we want to do is what was this guy's name again i'm going to right click uh person one okay all right just noting okay so now sorry i just wanted to see what he's called i forgot already i've already forgot that's how great i am um so we're going to go to event page 2, so talking trigger is on, and this is what we want it to do. We want it to say something like, um, you hear a person talking about you, which will be this guy. Um, you want to wait, so we want to go to event page 1, we want to click wait, and we're going to wait like 10 frames, nothing crazy just 10 frames and then we're going to go to insert and we want if we go to page 2 of event commands we want to show animation and we're gonna make it that the person 1 has the animation of an exclaim bubble like he's been caught out and you've been listening to him like uh, and then after that we want him to like immediately uh, set move root and we want this, make sure you change the top to person 1 and we want him to turn left and that's all you need to do and we're gonna go for a, sorry, let me just make sure you know exactly what I'm doing you're gonna right click, insert and we're going to go I'm a person and then we're gonna put speech beings and then I'm sorry as in like, he's been caught out, he's sorry Again, this is not 
essential. You can write whatever you want him to say, etc. Uh, and then we're going to go insert. We're going to wait another 20 frames, insert, and we're going to make him move. So we want to set move root. And we want the first thing you should do is always on top on as a walk move because there are times when a character will get stuck on a wall or get stuck on an event etc and it just it just breaks the game to be honest breaks your immersion big time always on top on so he doesn't get stuck on anything because like i said you can get stuck on like other event tiles as well if you're not careful so you need to put always on top on and we want him to move about six paces to the right uh so he's off screen and then we want him to disappear so what we're going to do is move right 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 so he's gonna move six times to the right um, and then wait about 10 frames and then after that's happened we want to turn on a new event so we're gonna to go to control switches and we are going to turn talking trigger off on like so and then we want to go to new event page, switch. Uh, Alexa, I didn't say your name. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. Anyway, so in this new event page on number three, we want to, on the condition switch, make sure that talking trigger is off equals on, auto run, and you want it to do absolutely nothing. So that will literally make the event non-existent after it's all finished. And click OK. And then what you want to do on the person as well is a new event page where they are nothing. We want this to auto run if the condition switch talking trigger off is on. That, my friends, should do it. So we're going to test run it right now. And we can try and debug something if something's wrong. So where did I put the event? Was it at the top? So if we walk here, to be fair, I will put it all in there in a minute. But we're just going to walk here. You hear a person talking about you. He then looks at you with an exclamation mark. I'm sorry. And, oh, I've put it to player walks. My apologies. So what you need to do is go to this person, edit event, the second, no, not this one. Sorry, I have to apologize. It's this event, the main trigger event. Edit event, we want to go to the second page and on set move route where he, he's always on top and moves right, we want this to edit and we need to change the top one from player to person one and then save that. Bingo! There we go. Right, we sorted it. Okay, so the common problem was... Oops, not on this person. The problem is, after you've done all what you need to do... I've put through on, by the way, not... Uh, what was the other one I said to do? I uh, Always on top on. Sorry, not always on top on. You need through on, always, at the start. And then we're going to make this guy move. Uh, a bit more right, so he's off screen. And then when that's all done, you want to right click, insert, and you want to go for wait for moves completion, which is halfway down on the second page. After this move is completed, then it goes to the new tr control trigger, and then that control trigger should turn that off. And it should also make him disappear. So now, if we save and play, and we go into the location. Bingo! You hear a person talking about you. He then looks at you, exclaimed. He then waits and goes off the screen. And then he's gone, man. He's gone. He's disappeared. Perfect. And there's no event to trigger it again. So that is forever an event that's finished and completed and gone away. Now you're like, okay, Dark. All right. You've shown me how to do walk on that one spot and how to do that. But how do we make it in an area? So this one event that I've put there, you want to just copy it, which I'm holding Control and C to copy. And then this new space over here where I you know, want extra space. Control and V, Control V, Control V. So now this event is all here, but it has the same triggers. This is why I didn't copy and paste previously. It's because you want to finish the event, make sure it works properly, and then put it in. Because this will all do the same thing. No matter where I step, it will activate that whole event and then delete the event afterwards. Or better yet, put another control switch on. So I can, I can potentially walk here. And it should do the same thing. And he walks off screen and he's disappeared. Now if I walk here again, it doesn't activate another event because it all counts as the same switch. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use a control switch! I hope that made sense. If, it, if you need any more help, please leave a comment in the like YouTube comment section. Or you can always, always, always catch me on Discord. I'll put my Discord link in the description. Please send me more questions of what you want to learn and how I can help you. I'll be more than willing to make videos or just show you quick screenshots of how to do something. Anyways, thanks to Darth Vader as well for the quick question. You know, taking time out of the uh, running the Empire and all that to give me a question that I can reply to. Anyways, I hope this helped. Genuinely. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that business, you know, all that, all that promotion. I stream on Twitch a lot. I'm on Discord if you ever need help. And if you want anything, just ask. Alright, see you guys later. Bye-bye!